Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be giving you some Shopify website tips for how to design and lay out your clothing website. I'll be covering different types of sections you can add to your website, how to customize your navigation bar links to create a smooth experience for your website visitors, and I'll be covering a type of section you can add to your homepage to help you to display your products and your product collection types. You can follow this video whether you have a clothing boutique, a cosmetic business, or many other types of business niches. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. One of the most effective types of sections you can add to your homepage would be featured product collections and collection list sections. Incorporating these sections throughout your website's homepage is a great way to feature your different product collections, especially if you have new arrival products and best-selling products. You'll want a minimal organized display for your product collections, and you'll want to be sure your featured collections tie into the rest of your website and matches your overall website style and color palette. I'll be showing you how you can add and customize a featured collection on your website's homepage. Here on Shopify, you're going to want to go ahead and customize your currently published theme. You're going to want to determine on your homepage where you're going to add your featured product collection. And don't forget, you can choose to add multiple of these sections to the homepage of your website. In between sections, you're going to want to click Add Section. And here, I'll be inserting a featured collection. This section is going to feature one of your product collections. And you can start off by titling the heading text and you can choose to increase or reduce the size of the heading text. You can choose to write a mini description describing this collection you're featuring, and you can also increase the number of products and columns you would like to show. You're gonna to wanna to save your website. Then here on Shopify, you're gonna click Products, then click Collections. When you go to create a new collection, you'll be able to title this collection. You can type a mini collection description. And when you click Browse, you'll be able to select which products you would like to add to this collection. And here in your Shopify theme, you're gonna click on the featured collection. And when you click select collection, you'll be able to select which collection you would like to feature. Then you'll also be able to choose if you would like to make the products full width, so they will fill a little bit more of the section. You can also choose to adjust the image ratio. So you can set this to portrait, to help the photos appear more vertical. And you can also choose to add the quick add button. This can add a sort of add to cart or choose options button below the products. Then here is currently the mobile display of this section. You can choose to show one column at a time or two columns at a time on mobile. And you can also choose to enable the swipe on mobile to allow your website visitors to just be able to swipe through to view the featured products. And don't forget, you can choose to add multiple featured collections and add them all throughout your website. These are especially great for pushing out new collections and featuring your top selling products. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're gonna receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. The next tip is for how you can create a smooth navigation experience for your website visitors. And you can do this by customizing your website's navigation bar, including your main menu and your footer bar menu. You'll want to include links on your menus, that allow your customers to see all your different types of product collections, your different categories, your different website pages, and you're gonna to wanna to add an option for your customers to contact you. I'm gonna break down how you can customize your main menu, including the different links you can add, how to create dropdowns on your menu, and I'll also be covering how to customize your footer bar menu, and also how you can add your logo. Here on Shopify, I'm gonna click Navigation, and this is where you'll be able to open your main menu your footer menu, and you can also add new menus to your store. I'm gonna click add menu. And this is gonna be your menu editing page. Here under title is where you can choose to title this menu. I'm gonna click add menu item. Then when you click this link box, you'll be able to select the different types of pages that you would like this menu link to lead to. I'm gonna start off by selecting home page to add a link to the home page of the website. 
And then I'm going to click add. And I'm going to go ahead and add another menu item. You can choose to add a link to your search bar. And then when you click collections, you'll be able to select which collections you would like to feature. I'm just going to add a link to the all collections page. And don't forget, you can choose to retitle how these labels are titled on this menu. Then I'm going to click collections again, and I'll be featuring one of these product collections. To create a menu dropdown, you're going to select this icon on the menu. And then you're going to drag this link a little off to the right, right beneath the main link. And that's going to create a sort of a menu dropdown. And then I'm going to click this section right here to add new page links to this specific dropdown. Then I'm going to click add menu item. And for the different types of pages you can choose to feature on your menu. You can choose to feature a specific product in your store. So if you have a new arrival product or a specific product that you're known for, you can feature that on your main menu. Then when you click pages, you can choose to feature any pages you've created in your store. And you can also choose to feature your contact page. You'll have the option to choose to link your main blog page. So my store currently has a default news blog page. And you can choose to feature your blog page if you would like. Then you can also choose to feature links to specific blog posts within your store and also to specific policy pages. I'm going to save this menu. Also, if in general you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide, and I will link that in my description box below. Then you're going to open your website, and I'm going to click on this header bar. Over here under menu, this is where you'll be able to select to change the menu. So I'm going to select to feature the new main menu. When you click these three dots, then click preview. This is where you'll be able to preview your website and preview how the new menu bar looks. And also here in your theme editor, you have a few different editing options for the display of the menu. For an example, here under desktop menu type, when you select a drawer, this is a setting that will hide away your menu to make a little bit more of a minimal display. So when your website visitors click these three lines, it's going to show your full menu dropdown. And here's also the mobile display for this menu section. And that's how you can customize your website's main menu. Next, I'll be showing you how you can customize your footer menu including the different types of links you can add, and also how you can customize the design of your footer menu by adding your logo and changing a few of the featured elements. So to customize your footer bar menu, here on Shopify, I'm going to click navigation again, and you can choose to open one of your menus or add a new menu. I'm going to click add menu item, and this is where you can begin adding links to your footer bar menu. I'm going to start off by again adding a link to the home page, and then I'll be adding a link to the all collections page. I'll be adding a link to the blog page. And then to end it, I'll just be adding a link to the contact page and the policies page. Then I'm going to be saving this new menu. Then you're going to open your Shopify website. And here at the bottom, I'm going to click on the footer bar. And I'm going to click this arrow back. Then here under footer, I'm going to click add block. And I'll be adding a menu block. I'm going to click on the menu, and this is where you'll be able to select to assign a different menu. You can choose to retitle this heading, or also remove the heading text. You have a few different editing options. You'll be able to choose to display an email signup. You can also apply a different color scheme to this section. And if you do apply the email signup section, you can choose to retitle this heading text that appears right above the email signup. And you have a few other setting options. Then over here, I'm going to click add block again, and I'm going to insert an image block. You'll be able to insert any images you would like to add to your photo bar menu. So I'll be adding a logo. 
And here under image width, you'll be able to increase the size and also reduce the size of the display of the logo. All right, then I'm gonna click add block one more time and I'll be inserting a text block. This section is optional, but I'm gonna add it for an example of how you can choose to add a little mini brand overview to your footer bar. And once you're finished, that's how you can customize your footer bar menu and add new menu links to your footer bar and also how you can add a few different sections to your footer bar. And here's also how the footer bar looks in a mobile form. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.